The GarageBand iOS audio recorder for iPhone and iPad can be used to record audio through a USB audio interface or work with MIDI through a USB MIDI controller. In this video, we'll cover how to set up recording with these devices on an iPhone. Before checking out this video, make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series so you're all caught up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified about all the rest of the videos in this series when they're released. <music> To be able to use any external devices with the GarageBand iOS app, you will need an Apple USB to Lightning adapter. I like using the Apple adapter that has the additional Lightning input connector which allows you to simultaneously charge your device and connect a USB device to it at the same time. This also allows additional power to be supplied to the device, especially for higher power devices like audio interfaces and USB MIDI controllers. Otherwise, some of these devices will not work properly and will not connect to your phone, so you can't use them. Unfortunately, I have tested some third-party USB Lightning connectors, and they did not work as well, so I would not recommend using the non-Apple ones. With the Apple connector, we can do a lot of things with the GarageBand iOS app. We can record instruments with a microphone connected to an audio interface, or we can record instruments like electric guitar and electric bass directly and using the amp simulation tools that we'll look at later in another video. Finally, we can use a USB MIDI controller to use a physical keyboard to record with the virtual instruments and MIDI tracks. This will be a lot more intuitive and easier to play than using the touchscreen as a keyboard. To get this working, connect the Apple Lightning connector to your iPhone or iPad. Then connect the other end of the USB connector to your USB interface or MIDI device. Use a lightning charger connected to a wall power supply to simultaneously charge your device and power the audio interface or USB device. Using a USB device with the GarageBand iOS app is basically plug and play. As soon as the MIDI controller is connected to the iPhone or iPad correctly, we can open one of our instruments that we previously selected from the track view and press the keys on the keyboard to start making sounds with the instrument. Just like before, we can then go ahead and press the record button to record our clip to a MIDI track. If you run into issues with your MIDI device not connecting properly, one of the main reasons for that is that there's usually not enough power being delivered to the device. With my Akai MPK249, it does require additional power other than what the iPhone can provide. This means that it won't work unless I have the adapter plugged into the lightning charger at the same time as the keyboard. Setting up the USB audio interface works in the same way. Again, this will need power to run properly. Just plug in your microphone or instrument into the correct input on your audio interface. Then turn on the audio interface. We can use the audio recording with various types of tracks such as the amp track for direct guitar and audio recorder track for microphones. I'll start off with recording a bass guitar. To do this, I'll select the bass amp track, then once that comes up we'll see an input indicator on the left. Press the input indicator to select the channel that you'll be recording on. In my case, it's input 2 which is the instrument input for my Behringer Euphoria UM2 audio interface. I also want to make sure monitoring is turned on, that way I can hear back the bass as I'm playing it. We'll go over how to use all the amp settings in a future video, however, for this to work, all we have to do is set this up properly, jump back to the beginning of our song with the previous button, and press recording to start recording as an audio track. Thanks for checking out this video on how to use external hardware with GarageBand iOS. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified about any of our new videos. You can also check the video description for links to products featured in this video and social media accounts.